The tables have shifted, the games are really coming in at a very big speed and also results are shocking of course for the betting fraternity because you all were expecting this and this game to pass. I'm talking about expectation versus reality. Of course, African teams to this particular extent, you've made us proud. I'm talking about Cameroon. You've done what you were supposed to do. That's a job well done. In as much as Cameroon didn't win that particular encounter, I must say Cameroon displayed a magnificent set of football. Chapo Moting, I don't know what I should buy you when I meet you because I know where, where I will meet you. Now, we are going to the other side where we'll talk about matters football in this particular Qatar 2022 World Cup extravaganza. The big show, the big call I am talking about African football. Nothing but the best. I tend to say that today was actually the day that I saw an African team beat out the muscle and tassel and bring it back. I think I now support Cameroon. It's clear. Back to you, Sasha. What do you think about Cameroon? Uh, I'm supporting Senegal. <laughs> <laughs> no matter the outcome, but definitely, guys, today uh, Cameroon really showed a very beautiful game. And I believe if they really get uh, into track, I believe they might go very far amongst all African teams. Amongst all African teams. Maybe just say something, a word or two about Eto maybe being the president of that federation in Cameroon because to some extent I might as well be safe to say that it displayed in that particular encounter. Uh, of course, Eto being the president of FIFA Foot, the 17th president, I believe he's coming with so many reforms uh, for Cameroonian players. And you see Eto in his regime, he has centered players and players are at the forefront of all, of all his reforms. First of all, uh, there's a minimum wage right now in Cameroon as we speak. 300 USD. 300 USD. So that tells every you that player. every player has to earn a minimum of 300 USD. So that shows you that this guy has really brought in reforms and it's all about the players, definitely. Mm -hmm. When players are happy, the game must be beautiful. The game must be beautiful and that is why we are talking about beautiful football. Senegal is up against Qatar. Do you think that it's going to be another tough encounter for Senegal or Senegal? is going to tussle it up against Qatar. We all know that Qatar are the weak boys. If you saw their game against Ecuador, not something to talk about. Yeah, definitely <laughs> Senegal are in for a task uh, because this is a very decisive game for Senegal. They are the African champions. They know the kind of load that is on their shoulder. So this is a very decisive game for them and Qatar. They are at home. Mm -hmm. Remember, they lost their first game. So honestly, they are coming into this game with all their hearts out. They also want to prove people wrong maybe uh, slide away with a draw. And so mm -hmm. Senegal really have to come into this game with all their horns and all their guns blazing because they must get a win if, if they are to go any further than that. So maybe just talk about their forefront. Diallo, we are talking about Sa and the likes of Idrissa Ganage. They had a dry spell in the other game against Netherlands. Are we now seeing them maybe now establishing their new form of attack in this particular game? Because we are saying that Qatar, for lack of a better word, Mignonge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, Senegal uh, really need to show up and really stand up for African people as, as you know, I'm their fan, honestly. And, uh, you know, whatever happened in the, in the first game, they had a dry spell, no goals. Uh, the game was really beautiful, but then they were not tactical as that final third. Mm -hmm. And I think that has been the biggest mis mistake and undoing of all African teams. They are not clinical. You know, it really shows that they are missing this guy, uh, this talisman, uh, Sadio Mane. Unfortunately, he might not, he, in this game, he was, he's not going to play. And again, there are rumors that Mendy might not get a slot in this game. So I believe it's going to be a hard task. But then I wish them all the best. Okay, all the best. Then England, <laughs> USA, another big encounter because uh, England, it was a goal fest in their previous match against Iran. Are we now looking forward for something of that sort? Ah, uh, not really, uh, because, uh, you know, it's very weird because uh, USA, oh sorry, England have never lost against USA in the World Cup. 
you know, and their first game ended in a 1-1 one, 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 one draw against Wales. So the England are coming into this game with, you know, uh, they won their first game 6-2, a very big margin. Yes, they considered, but then they won by six goals. And then you have this U USS side who really want to prove this English side wrong because they have never lost against England. But then you have this England side who also want to avenge and make sure they get a win because England knows the moment they get this win, then they have a slot in the, in the round of 16. Okay, nothing left to say just to look at the beautiful football that is going to get down. Remember, hashtag World Cup Eco KBC. You can also follow us on our social media platforms and visit our website. Remember, Oranje Kusimba is my good name across all social media platforms. I'm signing out. And of course, I am Margaret Sasha and Nechesa Wesonga on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Now, I must bring to your attention, because this one just crossed my mind, that the USA, United States of America, has a set and a breed of players who to some extent, I must say that these players, even if they're not going to win this particular World Cup, we do have faith in them in the next World Cup. I mean, they do have a squad, they do have a crop, they have people to look up to. Not the Belgium that we saw. I mean, what did Belgium do? But my time here is up. Of course, remember, hashtag World Cup Eco KBC. You can also visit our social media platforms and also our website. I go by the name Oranje Kusimba across all social media platforms. I'm signing out.